In this video, I'm going to help you create an FAQ page on your website using Elementor Pro. My name is Nicole Salk and I've been creating websites for over 20 years and I've been working with WordPress for over 10. So I know how to create a good FAQ page and I can help you create your own FAQ page. This video is made for beginners, so you don't need to know any coding, but you should be set up already with WordPress and Elementor Pro installed. First, let's talk about why you should have an FAQ page and what types of questions should go on your FAQ page. The biggest reason and the most obvious reason to make an FAQ page is it gonna save you time. You're probably tired of answering the same questions from your customers over and over again. So if you put one place on your website that answers all these questions, your customers can visit that web page instead of asking you the same things over and over again. Your website should save you time. This is a big way to make that happen. You're also building trust because you're making your customers' lives easier. They don't want to contact you if they don't have to either. So if they can just easily find the answer to the question they're looking for, they'll feel like you're anticipating their needs and it'll build trust in their relationship with you. There's also SEO benefits because Google loves questions. And if you answer the right question well enough, you might even get featured on Google search as a question snippet, which might possibly send you a ton of traffic. So now that I've convinced you you need an FAQ page, if you weren't already convinced, which you probably are since you're watching this video, let's talk about what questions should go on the FAQ page. Now again, obviously, questions that you're asked a lot, put those on the page. Something that's not so obvious that you should think about is what reservations do your customers and clients have before purchasing from you? What doubts do they have? What questions do they have before they become a customer? And how can you answer those questions and reassure them that they should buy from you before they talk themselves out of it? Similar to that, think about questions that move the customer along in the buying process. So think about what needs your customers have and what questions come with those needs while they're looking for a solution to their problem. So for example, I make websites and my clients will probably wanna know how the best way to contact me to get started with their project. So I'll tell them, that the best thing that they can do is schedule a call on my calendar and I'll add that link and it'll help move them along in the process. I'll also explain to them maybe what happens after they sign up with me and how their project goes so they can feel comfortable with the process and more willing to become my client. So now that we got that figured out, let's move on to making the page. Okay, here we are on a page on your WordPress site with Elementor set up. So what we're gonna be using to make your FAQ page is the accordion widget. So you can just click here to search widget and press AC, and then we have accordion here. So you can just drag that widget there, and here we have the accordion. Now, before we get started on making the uh, questions and answers, I want to show you also the toggle widget. So go back to your widgets and search for toggle. Now you'll see these are very similar. Um, the differences are that with the accordion, the first one is open when the page loads. With toggle, it is not. And with accordion, only one is open at a time. Like see when you click two, the first one closes. And with toggle, they can all be open at the same time. So we're gonna use accordion for this. Um, most people use it for FAQs. The Elementor FAQ blocks use the accordion for FAQs. And it just kind of makes more sense. So like if you have a list of questions, if they can open every question, it's gonna be overwhelming. Um, so in general, you want them just to read and answer one question at a time. Uh, it saves space that way when you have a long list of questions and it's nice to have that first question open auto automatically. So we're going to use the accordion just like most people do. 
So let's close out of this toggle section. And now let's make some changes to the, the FAQ accordion. So we have up here in the content section of the Elementor panel, we have accordion and we have the accordion items, which are accordion one and accordion two. So when you click this here, the title and the description. So what we would do is we would do the question here, like let's just say, how's the weather? And sometimes if you'd like, like sometimes I like to put a little cue there, but you don't have to, we know that's a question. Uh, so I'll delete that here. Now, again, this is all blue because I'm using the WordPress basic 2021 theme and it has this blue green background. So that's what's there. Um, that's why it looks like that instead of just a white background. Um, and this is the content. So this would be the answer to the question or it said the description in the accordion item. So we'll just say, it's a really nice day. The sun is shining. Okay, and that is your question and your answer right there. And you would do the same to this one, of course. Now, if you wanted to add an item, you can add an item here. Um, you could delete the item by pressing this X, or you could also duplicate the item by pressing that button there. Next, let's talk about icons. So we have two icons here. We have icon and we have active icon. Active icon is going to be for the active question, which is the open question, which is this one. So that's why you see that icon here. And then the regular icon is going to be for all the other questions, the closed questions. You can remove the icon. You can upload your own SVG file for an icon, or you can choose another icon from the icon library by clicking this button. And right here comes up with the recommended icons. These icons make sense for the, uh, the regular icons for an accordion, but you can also choose all the icons and, you know, have a poo icon if you wanted, or, a, you know, a radiation icon if you wanted, whatever you want, your, your options are all available here for you. So we're just gonna keep it as it is and you would change the active icon the same way. The title HTML tag, just keep that as a div, don't worry about that. I would turn on the FAQ schema. Um, what that does is it adds extra code, so Google knows that these are questions and answers, which again, is gonna help you if, if you could possibly, now it is tough to get on Google as their featured question, but this would make it more likely for that to happen if you have a good question and answer. Now let's style it and go to the style section here up top and you could change the border width right there. You see how it's making the borders thicker, like that thick border is kind of cool looking. Um, and so it has like a line in between. Of course, you could change the color of the border. And then title is going to be the styles for the title. So we can give it a background. We can just do, let's just do a white background here. We can change the color of the title. We just make it darker. This is not matching at all. I'm just changing the colors to show you. We change the active color here. This would be what the title is when the accordion is open and that's active. So we can change that to this blue color. And we can also change the fonts. As usual, this is a very normal typography box. I don't have to go through this with you. Close out of that, text shadow. You guys know what the text shadow is. We don't want that. We're gonna click this arrow to bring it back to default because that looks awful. And then we can add, we can change the padding here if we wanted to add more space. This is where you would add more space in between the words in the box. So if we wanted to add like a lot of space, that's too much space. Or if we wanted to add much less space, that's not enough space. We're gonna have it, well, let's just put it at 10. The default was fine, but since we're playing with it, I'll just leave it back at 10. And then you can click the icon area right here. And this shows the alignment of the icon. So do you want the icon at the start of the question or at the end of the question? Most people like it at the start. You can change the color of the icon and you could change the color of the active icon. And then you could adjust the spacing how far the icon is away from the question. 
And finally, you could change the style of the content. Just the same way, basically. These are all almost the same things. We can do like a gray background here. Please don't judge me on these color choices. We can change the color of the font here. Typography, you guys know, same stuff. Text shadow, you guys know. Padding, again, is the spacing in between. Do we want a lot of spacing? Do we want a small amount of spacing or a normal amount of spacing? And then the advanced tab is just the same as all Elementor advanced tabs. So this is your custom styled FAQ accordion. But remember, Elementor also has pre-made blocks. So if you want to do a pre-styled FAQ page, you can do that by, go, let's, let's close out of this now, and let's click this add template icon. And then for category, we're gonna choose FAQ. And you have all of these FAQ options, um, however you want. And you can peek at them more by clicking the zoom button and it'll show you a preview of it up close. I like this one, I use this one a lot. Um, and I, of course, I style it to match my clients, but I just think it looks very elegant and modern and clean. When you go back, it takes you out of the FAQ section. So go back to it. Um, and then you can peek in at all of these. Some of these have the questions right here laid out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to choose this FAQ. And, and then we're going to just hit insert. This one that I like, the first one. And we hit insert. Now you have to have a free account with Elementor to use a template library. Um, I have a pro account. So I'm just going to click the get started and sign in through my pro account. But if you don't have a pro version, just go ahead and sign in in your personal account. And there we go. It is in the page. Doesn't that look nice? And now from here, you can make changes. So specifically from here, we want, want to um, change the, the description color. So we're in style. Now we're going to content. And now we're changing this to white. And then this, this one also is too light. You can't see that. So this is just a regular heading um, widget. So we're clicking, remember you click the uh, pencil icon to edit the heading and you go to style, text color, we're gonna make white so we can see it. And also like, let's say that green, that active green doesn't match my branding. I can come back to edit the actual, F, uh, the, um, actual widget here and this is actually you know what this is actually the toggle widget they use here so I guess sometimes they do use toggle and sometimes they use accordion for their templates so this one is the toggle one so we, somebody could open all these at the same time but some of their other templates do have the accordion but you know they're basically the same so we're editing it the same way we hit edit here and then we want the title, we want the active title to match our branding. So let's say our branding has like maybe a bright orange. There you go. Now it would match your branding like that. And then of course, always don't forget to hit update. And then you can view your page. There you go, here's your FAQ page. You can click, your users can click to open it up. Now we didn't change, look at how the active icon, we forgot to change the active icon. So let's edit with Elementor. And come back here. Sometimes viewing the page will remind you of things that you have to change. So we can go to style, we can go to title, and we see we have this active color here. What we can do is we can just copy this. And then we can go to icon and for the active icon color, we can just paste it there. And there we go. Now the, the arrow matches and we can go to update and then hit the hamburger icon in the top left. Go to view page. Here's your FAQ page. All done, very professional looking. Please like and subscribe if I was helpful for you. And don't forget to download the new website checklist. It's free and the link is in the description. It'll help you out while you're building your website. Thanks so much for watching.